Good day folks. Welcome back to video six of our 10 proven patterns for still waters here with the BC Fly Guys. Um, changing things up a little bit here. Moving on to some attractor patterns. And uh, this is probably the mother of all attractors. Uh, I'm gonna tie for you a booby. And um, so you can play with the colors on this fly. You can uh, pretty much do whatever you want as far as color combinations and that kind of thing. Um, but this is one of the most deadliest patterns that, uh, that I've fished. Um, when fish aren't taking anything else, um, you strip a booby in front of them and uh, they seldom refuse it. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. I've got some fluorescent fire orange ultra thread here and we'll just get this started up by the hook eye and uh, just kind of work my way back a little bit here just to give myself a thread base to work with and uh, we can come back up about three quarters of the way up and uh, I've got some bright yellow uh, marabou here and so we're just going to tie this marabou in <clears throat> and get that tied in here. And work our way down a little bit. It's about all the way we need to go. We'll throw a couple loops underneath just to kind of prop up our tail a wee bit and cover up any of this excess that we've got here. Okay, and then you can kind of pinch that to length. You don't need a super long tail, but that should work. And then I've got some, this is a um, product out of the UK it's a gel core fritz and uh, this is the fluorescent sunburst orange and um, you tie this like I say you can mess with the colors all the all you like but peaches and pinks and yellows and this orange um, you just want something bright and uh, obnoxious that it's really gonna kind of piss off the uh, fish enough to just attack this thing. So um, again, up to our kind of our three quarter point there. And we'll just go ahead and wrap this fritz. And I'm just kind of stroking everything back as I go, just to keep that body nice and full. you get up to that three-quarter point here you can go ahead and tie off that fritz <clears throat> trim out our excess Try and pull everything back as best you can Some stragglers in there, it's fine. Don't be too concerned about it. You can just trim those out of there. <clears throat> and try to build yourself a little bit of a thread ramp up front here. Keep that as Fairly smooth if you can. Makes the next step a wee bit easier. That looks okay right there. And now I've got some uh, booby eyes. And these are from Rainey's. Um, you can make your own out of some cylinder foam, but these are kind of nice. They come in different colors. I'm using some yellow ones right now. White works just as well. <clears throat> and uh, so we just want to get those tied in up top. And a little trick here is just to wrap your thread 
around the eye so that it's sitting there and then you can just wind this on until they reach where you want them to be and then you can uh, just start to wrap those into place. I'm just going to figure eight wrap that best you can however you want to attach it I just do a bunch of figure eights until they're fairly secure <clears throat> those aren't going anywhere there and then you can come in with your whip finisher just pull your eyes back and get right in there for a whip finish. Just like so. And you're just about done. <clears throat> now I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue to set those eyes even more so they're not going nowhere. Do a little bit on top. Another shot underneath on your thread wraps and those aren't going anywhere there you have it there is a deadly booby pattern um, fish it on a fast sinking line uh, the booby eyes will keep it afloat off the bottom short leader four or five feet and uh, rip that nice and fast through the water and hang on to your rod because the uh, takes can be pretty pretty hard with uh, these flies so um, hope you enjoyed the video uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but that was tied on a number eight scud hook. Uh, the short shank hooks are better for these flies as the fish aren't uh, as likely to take them so deep. But hope you enjoyed that one. I know this thing will catch you some fish. Give it a try if you haven't. Um, I love them. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Everybody uh, have a great rest of your day and tight lines.